Here are the four types of bank accounts that everyone, including you, should have if you don't already. Okay, the first account is a traditional checking account. A traditional checking account is likely where your paychecks are going, where you pay your rent, where you pay other bills, and where you want to manage a lot of those transactions. It's recommended that you don't have all of your savings in your traditional checking account because it has such low or no interest in some cases that you're actually losing money. The second bank account that you want to have, and everyone should make sure that they have, is a high yield savings account. A high yield savings account, you'll often see the acronym HYSA, is a type of savings account. Typically it's offered through like online services, essentially not brick and mortar stores where you can go into your bank. I use Discover for mine and I absolutely love it. What's great about a high yield savings account is that it has about eight times higher interest than a traditional checking or traditional savings account. So it's a really great place, plus it's insured for you to keep things like your emergency fund, any of your short term goals that you're saving for, like a new car or a vacation. The third account that you should have, regardless of what age you are, is a retirement account. The types of accounts that you should consider is something like a 401k if your company offers it, a Roth IRA if you want to consider going individual, or a SEP IRA if you are freelance. A retirement account is actually a type of an investment account. It's made up of stocks and bonds, etc. But what's really great about a retirement account compared to just regular savings or even investments is that one is that it has a lot of tax advantages. Essentially what that means is that the government incentivizes you to save for your retirement by offering tax advantages, whether when you invest or with you withdraw, there's a lot that you can benefit from. The second that's really great about retirement account is that the sooner that you start, no matter how young you are, you can really use time to your advantage and you could take advantage of compound interest. So you should make sure that you are investing in a retirement account if you are not already. And then last but not least, the fourth account that you should have considering, and I would actually recommend them in this order, is an investment account through index funds. So index funds is also a type of investment accounts made of stocks and bonds. But what's great about an index funds is that it allows you to have like lots of indices that kind of mirror where their stock market is going, like the S&P 500. So essentially you don't have to A, be super knowledgeable about the stock market and B, you don't have to cherry pick which indexes or which stocks are going to be best for you. It allows you to have like a bundle of the top investments that are kind of mirroring the stock market and a really great way for people who are beginner or have a lower amount of money that they want to invest in to get started. So I have an index fund as well. Those are the four accounts that I recommend everyone having, including you like this video to save for later and follow for more easy tips about personal finance.